Hi there, I'm Linda and this is Hutton's Valley Permaculture. I'm up here next to my top swale in my food forest where my first fruit tree, I don't know if you can see it back there under the netting, is fully laden with beautiful peaches. Today I'm going to harvest them all, take them to the kitchen and preserve them in two different ways, one for the freezer and one for canning. three peach trees and this has been the most successful. The other two were a bit more affected with curly leaf early in the season although they did have lots of blossoms. They didn't, one didn't produce any fruit and one only uh, produced a, a couple which I've already enjoyed. Um, but this one has been really successful as you'll see shortly. It's been so successful that I had to put the netting over it. So the first thing I've got to do is of course just get the, the netting off this tree. There we go. As easy as that. It's just beautiful. These two have just fallen off the tree, but it's only because I've bumped it and they're looking pretty good. First fruit into the basket. I think this one also fell off in the net removal. When I preserve them, um, you can cut around all of that sort of thing and um, I'll throw that to the chickens. So now that all the nets are off, all I need to do is harvest all these fruits. Some of them are really quite soft, so it's really time to, to get all these gorgeous fruits in. Finally, I'm getting some splitting when I'm picking them, so I'll have to just try and twist them a little bit. Most of them just kind of fall off, like that one. Super right ones just come off really easy. The ones that aren't as ripe, but they're still ripe enough, take a little bit of extra effort. Oh, they're just dripping down my hand. Before I realised what sort of abundance this tree had, I decided that I'd just net a few of the fruit to make sure that I got some unblemished by the birds. But then once it all started to change colour, I couldn't help but net it the whole thing. Um, the birds have still got a few and I've just got to remove this little bit of netting that will reveal my three that I decided to keep for myself. Oh, here comes one. Oh, that netting's on pretty well. And it, it doesn't stop the bugs getting in. That's one basket harvested. There's some that are a little bit rotten, but you know, half of it's really good. And I've just got to get a little ladder to get the fruit at the top of the tree. The peach tree is just about clear, except for this one. And harvest is over. Now, I'm not going to pack up this netting, but what I do need to do with it is move it to the plum tree. Now that my peach tree 
is all clear of its beautiful fruit. So I'm pretty pleased with the first harvest from this tree. All I've got to do now is get it to the kitchen and make sure I preserve it for a year round enjoying. Now we're back in the kitchen, I'm going to preserve some of these peaches. First of all, I'm going to uh, freeze some of the, the slices, but I do need to wash these peaches first. So I just give them a bit of a rub around in water and a quick rub over, make sure that there's no obvious bits of dirt or debris on them, and then they're good to use. Okay, we're all set to get going. I've got my lemon juice water there and my peaches are all nicely washed. So let's get slicing them. Okay, then straight into the lemon water and that stops them browning. And we just sort of keep, keep on going. If they've got a mark on it, I do check that out in case there's a, a worm or something in there. But um, yeah, that one's all good. All right, so when you've got sufficient to fill your tray, uh, you just need to line, give them a little bit of space, not too much, just so that they uh, freeze well without sticking together. When your tray is full, that just goes into the freezer so that they can freeze individually and you can pack that into a container and you can just grab those slices out as you need them. Now that I've got the peach slices in the freezer, I can move on to canning some peaches. So I've got a few things on the go. First up, I've got a bowl of lemon um, juice in water to stop the browning process as we're um, getting all of these peaches ready. Over on my stove, I've got my canning water on the boil, so that's ready to go. I've also got some other water um, starting to boil because you need to boil some of these halves to get the, um, the peel off, but I'll be showing you that process. Uh, and next up, I'm just gonna make my syrup for the, the jar. So I'm doing a hot packed canning method where you, um, well, I boil these to get the, the um, skin off and then I'll pack them into jars and put some hot um, syrup over the top. So I've got lots of honey, so I'm just gonna use a cup of honey into four cups of water and bring that to the boil so that that's nice and hot. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. You could also make this syrup just with sugar. An extra light syrup would be a cup of sugar into five cups of water. You can make it a lot heavier with sugar, but um, keep in mind your peaches being very ripe are really sweet. So you don't need to add too much sugar to your syrup. I'm just gonna get this on the boil and then we can get going. Now while that's starting to heat, I'm just gonna halve my peaches. Just watch out for some with blemishes. So, yep, that'll be fine. Some of these peaches are a lot riper than the others. The less ripe ones, the stone is not that happy about coming out. My syrup is hot, which I've just moved to the back there and I've got my hot water boiling. So all you need to do is take out the halves out of your lemon water and just put them into the boiling water, just in a single layer. And you boil them for about a minute and that will help loosen the skin. While that's boiling on the stove, I'm just gonna add some ice to some cold water to create my uh, ice bath. All right, that's a minute now. With a slotted spoon, you just need to grab out your peach slices out of your hot water, put them in your cold water Leave them for another minute and hopefully it means you'll be able to peel off the skins from those, those halves. Yay, peels off beautifully. 
Now to pack it into the jars. I've just been keeping these jars in hot water so they're quite warm, ready to receive the um, juice. So I'm just going to pack them, making sure to leave a, a bit of headroom at the top there. You can kind of squish them down a little bit. Here's my second bunch. The less ripe they are, the more tendency that skin has to stick. And that's probably as high up as I want to go with that. All I need to do now is add some syrup to that, some hot syrup. And with a chopstick, just make sure that there's no air bubbles. So I'm just going to squash that down. Before you add your lid, just wipe down the rim and that makes sure you get a good seal. And then just finger tight with your lid. Once I've done all the rest of the, the jars, I'll pop them all in the canning bath. Our last two jars of peaches are ready. Just got to get the hot syrup in, get rid of the air bubbles and just push the fruit down a little bit. Get a paper towel to dry them off. I've got my water bath canner already hot, so I'm going to add these jars, then bring it up to the boil. Now it's got to be a few centimetres above the lid, which is about an inch. Last jar in. That's been boiling for 20 minutes now. So I've turned it off and just carefully take off the lid. Just let that sit for five minutes or so, just to settle down before we take out the jars. And we're just going to pop it on a thick towel. Okay, now I'm just going to cover it up and that stops any breezes from getting on the jars. I'm just going to leave that undisturbed for at least 12 hours so tomorrow morning I'll be having a look and um, just checking on the seals. Well it's the next day and it turned out that I had plenty of peaches so much so that I've got a batch of peach jam on the go and I was able to make some peach chutney in addition to my canned peaches and those in the freezer. Now the only thing I had to do what, when these were cool was just to check the seal and that's not coming off. So that's all good and they're all the same. So I can just pop that in the um, pantry and that'll be food for me in the coming year. And I'll also have plenty that I can share. I'm pretty pleased with the results of uh, yesterday's harvest and, and what it's given me. It's really worth putting in a fruit tree. So if you've got space, it doesn't take too many years before you're really getting the fruits of your labour. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.